So uh, today uh, we'll talk about the pharynx. Uh, the pharynx extends uh, from the peritoneal apertures uh, until the level of the C6 here to become the esophagus. Okay, so uh, this is the sphenoid bone. Uh, this is C1 or atlas, and this is C2 or axis. This is C3, 4, 5, and 6. So at the level of the C6, uh, the pharynx becomes the esophagus. Uh, the pharynx uh, is sandwiched uh, by uh, two fascia. Uh, so it is inlined internally with the basilopharyngeal fascia. So this is a uh, muscle of the pharynx. It could be the constrictor muscles, but it's really uh, not very much distinguishable here. So this is the basilopharyngeal fascia. Uh, above, it will attach to the uh, pharyngeal tubercle uh, on the basilar part of the occipital bone. Okay. Uh, externally, uh, it will be covered uh, by the bacopharyngeal fascia, but seriously, uh, we can't see that very well here. All right, so uh, the pharynx is divided into three major parts. The nasopharynx, uh, the uh, oropharynx here, and the laryngopharynx, okay, um, until here. Uh, okay, so now talking about the uh, nasopharynx, uh, if we can get closer, uh, okay. So as we said, uh, the nasopharynx uh, extends from the posterior nasal apertures, uh, until the uh, pharyngeal isthmus, okay? Uh, the roof uh, is the base of the skull and the floor is formed uh, by the soft palate. Uh, the contents uh, in this part, uh, we have the pharyngeal tonsils or adenoid. Uh, we have opening of the uh, auditory tube, also called eustachian tube or tympanopharyngeal tube. Uh, this tube forms an elevation uh, which is called uh, tubule elevation here tubule elevation or this uh, in this uh, part of the pharynx we've got a fold uh, which is called the salpingopharyngeal fold here okay this is it salpingopharyngeal fold uh, which is formed by the uh, salpingopharyngeus muscle which is one of the muscles uh, or one of the longitudinal muscles of the pharynx. About the oropharynx, it extends from the oropharyngeal isthmus here. The oropharyngeal isthmus is formed by the palatoglossal arch, uh, which is formed uh, by the palatoglossus muscle, uh, one of the muscles of the soft palate. Uh, it extends until the upper border of the epiglottis. Okay, here. Uh, so, uh, the contents of this part of the pharynx, um, as we said, we have this arch, which is the uh, palatoglossal arch or palatoglossal fold, and uh, behind uh, we have the palatopharyngeal fold, which is formed by the palatopharyngeus muscle, which is one of the muscles of the soft palate. Between these two folds, we have a fossa, uh, which we name the palatine fossa which contains uh, the palatine tonsil. Um, we can see there's an elevation in here, palatine tonsil. Okay, so now uh, talking about the uh, laryngopharynx, uh, this extends from the upper border of the uh, epiglottis uh, to the level of the C6, where it becomes the uh, esophagus. Uh, okay, so uh, this is the epiglottic cartilage. Um, okay, this is the hyoid bone, and this is the thyroid cartilage. So this would be the thyroid membrane. So uh, laterally, uh, the laryngopharynx is bounded by the uh, thyroid cartilage and the thyroid membrane. Uh, so some structures uh, that we can see connected to the epiglottis uh, here. Uh, this is a sagittal section, so epiglottis has been cut in the midline. Uh, so uh, this would be the uh, median glossoepiglottic line, uh, 
and this would be the uh, lateral uh, glossy line. Uh, in between them, there is a fossa which is called vallecula. Okay, this fossa is called vallecula. And uh, posterior uh, to the epiglottis, uh, here uh, we've got the piriform uh, fossa. Okay. Uh, talking about the pharynx on this model uh, here, um, uh, this is the sphenoid vein. Uh, this is C1 or atlas, and this is C2 or axis. This is C3, C4, C5, and C6. Okay, so uh, this is the pharynx uh, extending from the posterior nasal aperture down until level of the C6. Okay, so C1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So at the level of the C6, the pharynx will become the esophagus. So talking about the different parts of the pharynx, uh, beginning with the uh, nasopharynx, extending from the posterior nasal aperture uh, to the pharyngeal isthmus. Uh, the roof is a uh, base of skull and the floor is uh, formed by the soft palate. Uh, the contents, we can see the opening of the auditory tube. Uh, we can see the... Uh, tubular elevation, uh, we can see the uh, salpingopharyngeal fold, uh, okay, and uh, going to the uh, oropharynx, it extends from the oropharyngeal uh, isthmus, which is formed by the, uh, here, um, it's formed uh, by the palatoglossal uh, fold, or arch, uh, and uh, until the upper border of the uh, epiglottis, the contents, of course, we can we said that this is the uh, palatoglossal arch or fold, and this is the palatopharyngeal fold. In between is a fossa, which is called the palatine fossa, uh, which is filled with the palatine uh, tonsil. Uh, so about the uh, laryngopharynx, of course, extending from the upper border of the epiglottis. Uh, until level of the C6 where it becomes the esophagus um, and uh, uh, of course as we said it's bounded laterally by the uh, thyroid cartilage and the uh, thyrohyoid membrane so this is the hyoid bone and uh, uh, the structure uh, in relation to the uh, epiglottis uh, uh, this is the vallecula uh, so the median uh, and lateral uh, glosso epiglottic lines and here uh, we can see the piriform fossa so again talking about the pharynx uh, on the plastinated model uh, here this is all the pharynx uh, okay uh, extending from the posterior nasal apertures see uh, these are the posterior nasal apertures or the cavernae uh, until level of the c6 where it becomes the esophagus so this is the, uh, yeah, that's it. this is the esophagus. Uh, this is the trachea, and this is the uh, thyroid gland. Uh, okay, so muscles uh, of the pharynx, we have the uh, horizontal ones. Okay, uh, their fibers uh, go horizontally or circularly. They are the superior, middle, and inferior uh, constrictor kind of muscles. Uh, it's not very distinguishable here. And uh, the longitudinal muscles, uh, we have the uh, palato uh, pharyngeus, we have stylopharyngeus, and uh, we also have salpingo uh, pharyngeus. Uh, the one that we can see here is the stylopharyngeus. So uh, uh, this is the mastoid uh, process, and this is the styloid uh, process. Okay, so uh, this is the posterior belly of digastric attaching to the mastoid process, and this is the uh, these are the three muscles uh, that attach to the stylic process. This is the stylohyoid. Um, okay, so uh, this is most probably the stylopharyngeus, and this is uh, probably the stylogloss. Um, uh, it's really not very important to differentiate them here, uh, but it's important to know that three muscles uh, of the pharynx that are longitudinal uh, in direction. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, this is the uh, palatopharyngeal fold or arch uh, formed by the palatopharyngeus muscle. Uh, okay, uh, this is one of the muscles 
of the soft palate and also one of the longitudinal, longitudinal muscles uh, of the pharynx. Uh, all the muscles of the pharynx, uh, including the uh, constrictor muscles, uh, the uh, palatopharyngeus, and also the salpingo uh, pharyngeus, uh, are supplied through the uh, pharyngeal plexus. However, uh, the Stylo uh, pharyngeus muscle is supplied through the um, glossopharyngeal nerve. So uh, this is the uh, nasopharynx uh, extending from the uh, posterior nasal apertures uh, until the uh, pharyngeal isthmus. Okay, and uh, this is uh, the oropharynx uh, extending from the uh, palatoglossal arch, uh, which should be kind of here, uh, until the upper border of the uh, epiglottis. Uh, okay, so, um, so, uh, and of course, uh, the rest is the laryngopharynx uh, from the upper border of the epiglottis uh, until the uh, esophagus. Uh, the structures that we can see here, uh, this is the uh, epiglottis. So, here, uh, okay, if you can focus. Uh, this is the median. Um, uh, yes, that's it. Here. Okay. So uh, this is the median and uh, lateral uh, glosso epiglottic lines. In between, we have fossae, which are the vallecula. Okay. Vallecula. Uh, this is a uh, posterior aspect of the tongue. Uh, and here uh, we have we can see the uh, pariform fossa.